So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you tips, tricks, and hacks you could use to save money. So stick around to discover the secrets of saving money each month so that you can start improving your financial health. <music> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Z. If you're here for the first time, hey, hello. On this channel, I talk about personal development, personal finance, and life in Canada. So if you're interested in this kind of content, hit the subscription button, hit the like bell, hit the notification button so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know. The very first thing you do when you get your paycheck each month is to set some money aside into your savings account so that that way you're able to work with and leave off whatever you have left during the month. And then if you have a little left over at the end of the month, you can add it to your savings. So my advice is start saving small. Start by regularly saving a realistic amount of money that you can actually do without this is gonna motivate you to save more and more so even if it's ten dollars or five dollars a week or a month do whatever you can to start now it's important that you keep your spending and your savings account separate so I've already done a video of um, where and how you can save your money so if you're interested I'm gonna link it, link it in the description box and you can check it out after this video so the next is create a budget. So with a budget, you can actually figure out what your income is and what your expenses are. Now, once you know these things, you can um, look for ways to reduce your expenses or increase your income in order to allocate an amount of money that you can afford to save. So creating a budget is like creating a plan. It's you writing out a plan for your money. It's you determining and detecting where your money goes. So you're ultimately tracking your income and your expenses. So when creating a budget, it's important to write it out and stick to it like write a vision and make it plain i said vision because before you even start creating a budget for yourself you have to have you need to have a vision i mean you need you need to have financial goals you need to have something you're working towards so for me personally i have some monthly goals and monthly savings so i do that with a financial plan which i'm gonna link below the next is pay off your debt. So debt is costly, especially high interest credit card debts. So the interest can rack up hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. So paying off your debt can save you a bundle with because you aren't wasting money on interest. So one of the easiest ways to tackle credit card debt is using the debt snowball method. So this method helps you pay off the card with the least balance first so you can have the feel good feeling of accomplishing one of your goals. Then you proceed to the next card and continue until you're debt free. Next is cancel unused subscriptions. Guys, so many businesses make majority of their money from subscriptions. Why? Because once people sign up for them, the thought of canceling seems too laborious. But in reality, canceling an unused subscription is usually simple and can save you a lot of money. So before you cancel this subscription, you can actually ask yourself some questions. You can ask yourself how often you use these subscriptions and you could also ask yourself if there are other cheaper alternatives there. So if you find yourself answering no and um, if you find that you have cheap, cheaper alternatives, out there then I mean you can go ahead and cancel the subscription what are you waiting for right so next is use a shopping list so have you ever heard that you shouldn't go shopping when you're hungry well the same goes to shopping without a list because it's too easy to impulse shop and when you don't have a list to stick to and that can lead to overspending so if you're like me and you also forget key ingredients to your recipe and you end up with half of what you need or you plan to go get just two items and end up coming out with a cart full of items that used to be I mean that used to happen to me a lot and sometimes it still happens so use a basket instead of a cart so if you if you know you need to just get few items it'll keep you from tossing in more, more and more than you need so plus you'll get a mini worker um, while you're working so basically having a shopping list can have a huge impact in your saving every month so the next is buy in bulk so another simple way to save is to buy certain items in bulk things like toilet paper paper towel cleaning supplies and canned food can be bought in bulk making them cheaper of course be careful when trying to buy perishable items in bulk because they spoil too quickly so you can freeze some food to keep them or preserve them longer Saving $3 a day for a year adds up to $1,092. So you see, learning how to save money each month on even small items will bulk up your bank account very fast. We all know one of the best ways to stretch your food budget is to avoid dining out. But we also know that it's easier said than done, especially if you've been exclusively cooking at home since March, thanks to COVID. 
Takeout is such a tempting option right now. Trust me, I get it. Eating at restaurant is one of the, my favorite things I mean in the world. So, but you guys, there's no room to debate on this. I mean, the average Canadian household spends over three thousand five hundred dollars, thirty five hundred dollars each year eating out. There's a lot of money you can save each month if you cut out restaurants out of your budget. And listen, if you have the money to spend, that's okay, that's fine, that's awesome. But if you, if you need to come up with cash and you're refusing to give up your lifestyle of eating out, I mean, then that ultimately means eating out is more important than your financial goals. So once you can decide what's more important to you, I mean, you know what to do. So the next is use less gas. So rather than cruising around all week, why don't you schedule all your errands on the same day to save gas? This results in less money going to the gas and less wear and tear on your vehicle. So reduce your electric bill and save money in your utility bill. So there are several ways you can actually slash your electric bill by unplugging appliances can stop phantom electricity, which is where electricity is still being used even when it's turned off. Of course, turning off lights and appliances when you're not using them is a huge server too. So other ways you can actually save more is switching to fans instead of using air conditioning when possible. Then also switching to, uh, to LED bulbs, light bulbs, as they use 90% less energy than the standard models. So replacing any appliances that aren't energy sufficient is really important. And also regularly monitoring your energy usage so that you can spot areas where you could decrease your consumption. So in Canada, there are, there's a concept of peak and non-peak hours. So normally peak hours start from 7 a.m. to around 11 p.m. and in the evening from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Again, this varies from city to city. So you can check uh, in your specific city and so that you can know when you can plan out your day. So you use you don't use electricity during the peak hour. Next is make your coffee at home. So we all know the power of Tim Hortons and Starbucks. So you can actually brew that morning coffee or take advantage of the office coffee maker to save up 15% a week. Then making coffee at home, as we all know, is environmental friendly, guys. The next is check your account. I know it helps to look at those numbers, but however, it's important you be the detective of your bank account and regularly looking for those funny looking charges, those little charges. Maybe your utility company is overcharging you or a special offer hasn't been applied to you as promised. So staying on top of your current balance and past purchases allows you to spot errors as well as areas of spending that you can cut back. So the next on my list is plan your vacations ahead. So we all love planning vacations, but well, vacations can be very expensive. So but planning a trip can actually give you a sense of relief and control that makes the gateway much fun. So determine how much you want to spend on every um, everything from your hotel bills to the gas, the souvenirs and your meals. So it doesn't have to be a ton of money. There are many resources out there to help you plan an affordable vacation or staycation. So you can actually research flights and dates. As you're planning your trip, know that certain times of the year are cheaper to travel than others. Everyone knows that flights will be more expensive around the holiday, but there are lots of other factors that um, can determine how much you pay for your flight and your hotel. So do your research, play around dates, play around times and decide how many days you can afford. So look for deals, look for deals, very important and start saving up. By working and saving up money now, you won't have to deal with payments of credit card interest after you, when you're back. So vacations are meant to be fun and not stressful. So make a budget and plan, have a plan, 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 plan. The next you want to do is get a library card. A library card can grant you access to thousands of books for free. And that's not all. You can use your library card to borrow movies and magazines and newspapers. The library is also a great place to work, get some work done for free. So get a library card and make use of the resources. So guys, be mindful of what you're spending money on, uh, from housing to transportation to food. Be mindful, be careful, and calculate. Plan, plan, plan. So what area are you guilty of overspending? For me, it was grocery shopping. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscription button, hit the like button, and share. And bye for now. See you in the next video.